Hello, Aurora Unit. Welcome to Project Time. Um, the topic of our project is going to be the rock cycle. So in blue at the top of these instructions, and I really hope that you're following this video right now to see what's going on, um, your task is going to be to tell your life story. So we're going to pretend that rocks have a life. We know that's really not true, but we're going to pretend. And you're going to do this using the rock cycle diagram, which is attached to these instructions as well. This should look familiar to you. This is the rock cycle diagram that we have been using. So you're going to use this diagram um, as a guide to tell your life story as rock. So the first thing you have to do for step one, you'll see step one highlighted in yellow, um, is you're going to have to decide how you want to tell your life story. So you have basically three options. You can um, write your life story, um, kind of like a creative writing piece, um, in a Google Doc, so that would be a written story option. If that's not for you, um, you might decide that you wanna make a hand-drawn comic, like a comic book life story. Um, that would be all hand-done, okay? Hand-done comics with some text and words to kind of explain your life. Um, or there are two digital tech options. Um, I actually have a tech choice board if we click. It will open up a window for you of two Let's make this a little bit bigger. You'll have two tech choices. Um, one of them will be a website called Book Creator, where you can make a book type life story, or um, you can also use Storyboard That. And again, if you follow this link, it will tell you how to log on and you can use these websites to create your comic book life story. So overall, you have four choices of uh, what you could do. So you need to think about what choice you want to do. And when you make that decision, as it says here, I would like you to highlight your choice. So please make sure that whatever you decide to do, um, you take some time and that you highlight one of these three choices so I kind of know where you went with your decision. Of course, you can always change it if you decide to do something different. So step two would be to now um, plan and create your life story. So again, I've linked that rock cycle diagram. Um, no matter what option you choose, story, written, drawn comic, or tech option, um, you do have to do a few things. You have to start your life as magma or lava. So you're going to start your rock life as a liquid. So we'll start with the magma um, or lava part of the rock cycle chart. And then within your life for bullet point number two, um, you have to include in your life four accurate ways that you have changed that follow the rock cycle diagram. So starting at magma or lava is not a change. That's where you start. Then you're going to have four changes as you move through the rock cycle diagram. Um, so, for example, if we look at the rock cycle diagram again, I am looking that you have accurate changes. So if we're starting with magma on the diagram, which would be here, um, really the only first change you can have is becoming an igneous rock. All right, that would be an accurate first change. Then once you're igneous, you have some options. Okay, obviously if you follow the chart, you can go to metamorphic, you could go to be weathered into sediment, or remember we can always melt back to magma as well but you gotta follow the chart. So if you don't follow the chart, you're not gonna get those points for the accuracy. So please make sure that you do. Um, make your life story interesting and creative um, and something your audience, which is gonna be me, um, is interested in reading and looking at. Um, have fun with this. Um, keep in mind, I always get this question, can some of my story be make-believe? Of course. A lot of this is going to be make-believe. You, you got to have an imagination. You got to make your rock, you know, have some interesting experiences. But there's also going to be the part that's real with how you follow the rock cycle diagram. Um, some things to keep in mind. Handmade comics. If you choose to do it handmade, um, it's going to be a little tricky because if you're home or in school, people that are at home – these are going to have to be hand drawn and colored and somehow I'm going to have to see them. So probably the best way would be to take a picture and attach it to your Google assignment so I can see your handmade comic. Uh, people in the classroom, obviously, I can collect the paper copy. Um, if you're doing a written story, 
that's most likely going to be done on a Google Doc. Um, if you're doing the tech options, follow the instructions on the tech options. Uh, they automatically will save to the website that you're doing it on. And lastly, I hope you're still with me. Um, I always get the question, how will this be graded? Well, I've attached a rubric to the instructions. And this will explain how you receive your 100 points. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, on the rubric, you will receive one point. This is where you want to be if you start your life as magma or lava. But keep in mind, this one point will be multiplied by 10. So 10 points will be starting your life as magma or lava. Now you have to have four accurate changes in your life story. Okay, so if you have all four, that will get multiplied by 15. And then lastly, this is the piece where people struggle. I need to see evidence of creativity and that your story is interesting. This is a 30 point part. So if you do everything else but don't have any creativity or interest, uh, you're going to get a 70% on this, which is just satisfactory. It's not that higher level grade. So you really got to make it interesting and creative for the reader. That's a little bit of a part of the challenge of this. You got to use your imagination, have some fun with this as well. So back to the instructions. I think we covered everything. Um, now um, we're going to look at a couple of examples of what I made and what some people have done in the past to kind of guide you along this process. Okay. And this video will be available for you as well on the assignment if you want to watch it again.